Hey everyone, today I'll be showcasing a new feature in AWS WAF, JSON parsing and inspection. AWS WAF can now parse JSON in the body of your requests, allowing you to inspect specific keys or values of the JSON using AWS WAF rules. This capability helps you protect your APIs by checking for valid JSON structure and content. So let's take a brief look at how this works. Here's a diagram of the initial architecture of my API. There are users sending requests over the internet that are picked up by an application load balancer, which forwards requests to a Lambda function. Now this Lambda function has Python code that inspects the JSON, looking for a well-formed structure and the presence of a secret value. How can AWS WAF be used to more easily handle this requirement? and avoid excessive Lambda invocations. AWS WAF can now parse, transform, and inspect JSON in the body of each request. Now before we introduce the WAF rule for this, let's switch over to the command line and interact with the API to see how it works. Let's use curl to interact with this API. This command sends a valid JSON body in the request to the API. This JSON is inspected by the Lambda code and there's a true value that's returned because it has a valid secret. Now let's alter the request by modifying the secret value and you can see the Lambda function returned invalid encoding because it was unable to decode that secret value. Here's another example where we send invalid JSON. Again, the Lambda function has to handle this scenario as well, where it's unable to parse the JSON. Another example is where the key is missing. So here the Lambda function was unable to find the secret key. It would be great to shelter my API from these invalid requests by handling this validation at the edge. So let's define a WAF rule that does that, and we'll return to the command line later and see what happens. Okay, so here we have an empty web ACL, and I'll add my own rule. I'll use the rule builder for this. Rule name will be JSON inspection demo, and it will be a regular rule instead of a rate-based rule. And the idea here is that we'll define a statement that matches the JSON we expect to see in each request, and so I'll use not here is a condition. So if it doesn't match what we expect, then we'll actually block the request. And for demonstration purposes, I will enable a custom response. We'll return an HTTP 200 code. And we'll use a custom response that looks like this, just to let the client know that if it is blocked, here's the reason why. Back up to our statement. We will inspect the request body, and here we'll choose JSON. So AWS WAF is actually going to parse the JSON content. And in our case, we're just looking to match values of elements in the JSON. And if it turns out the JSON can't be parsed due to some syntax issue, then we'll say it's not a match. So we'll block in that case. And instead of inspecting the entire JSON body, we're only going to inspect a particular element. In our case, that element is envelope secret. And the match type will be, it exactly matches a string that has this value here. So the idea is that AWS WAF will look for an element with this name in this path in the JSON body, and this key needs to have this value. And also in our case, we're actually base64 encoding that value uh, before it's passed in. So we'll tell AWS WAF to decode the value of that key uh, before performing a string match. And then if it turns out the size of the JSON body is larger than AWS WAF can, can process, 
then we'll call that not a match and block it in that case. So we're finished there, so I'll go down and add the rule. Click Save, and here we can see the rules now added to the ACL. The last step is to hop over to Associated AWS Resources and associate this web ACL to the load balancer. Let's see how our API behaves now that we have the WAF rule in place. So here we have a normal request with the correct key and value in the JSON. The WAF did not block this. The request was sent to the Lambda function, which parsed the JSON and confirmed the presence of the right value. Now let's modify this input JSON to pass in an incorrect value. You can see the WAF blocked that request based on the rule that we provided. Here let's try another situation where we modify the name of the key, but it has the right secret value, but it's the wrong key. Here AWS WAF blocked that as well. And the last idea we'll check is to modify this JSON so that it's using incorrect syntax. And again, you can see the WAF is blocking that situation as well.